Good morning. This is Umesh. I will be giving the training for the project management uh, Primera software. So let us start with the introduction part. That is uh, about the project management. Let me define the project. Project is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product or service or results. Is nothing but a project. Then here next to what will go project management is application of knowledge, skill tools and techniques to protect the activities to meet the project requirement. These skills tools means what type of software you are go going to use and what type of technique you are going to use in the projects. We are going to have the project management. Next, we'll see about the project cycle. In this, we are going to have five different phases, five different phases of our uh, project cycles. First, we'll go for the initiation phase. In initiation phase, we are going to have the uh, important things. You have to collect the information about the project and you have to define the workflow templates. Uh, you have to give the initiate project request and we have to prepare the development of the project team. So these are the things we are going to do in the phase one. After getting the team and after getting the project, then we are going to plan the project. Means what are the uh, work involved in the projects? We have to define the works and we have to define the timings, work timings, and we have to uh, make a budget cost and we have to optimize and create the baselines under the planning. After getting the entire plan then we have to go for the executing executing is nothing but we are going to distribute the work information and we are going to track the projects and we are going to check the actual cost of the project everything uh, in the phase three next when you go for the phase four in this we are going to monitor control and we are going to have the schedule percentage complete so your control in the sense we have to control time cost and resource so these are the things we have to control in the, uh, we have to control these three things, very important things. Uh, when you come for the materials, it is man material and equipments. So these are the things we are going to check it out in the phase four. Then finally, we are going to finish the project, uh, finishing of the project, the disclosure of the project is nothing but finishing. So these are the things we are going to have in the project cycle. Next before going to the software skills we are going to have the planning planning manually means before the software we are done manual planning uh, what are the methods we are going to use in the manual planning so cpm or port that is critical path method or longest path method uh, that is cpm method and when you go for the port method that is program evolution review technique so these are the two techniques which followed initially before the software now what is CPM? So by using the CPM method, we are going to get the total duration of the project and we can decide whether the we can delay or we can delay or we cannot delay. Means we cannot delay in the sense uh, if you are having critical, then it will be the it is not possible to delay the activities. If you are having non-critical, we can delay for some days. Next, when you come for the critical, so float we are going to get that is zero zero or negative so critically means zero or zero float or negative float float is nothing but days so here if it is critical we cannot delay if you delay what happens the project finish date will varies when you come for the non-critical float we will get the positive number floats in terms of days then we can delay for some days we were delaying also the project end date will not change Next, we'll see about the what is the float or slack. So total float is nothing but the amount of time taken by the activity can be delayed without affecting the project finish date. So this is a concept we have to remember when you are making a, any plan, any project planning for the, any type of projects. Next, port. Port, by the, using this method, we can decide the uh, duration of the activities or tasks. This is what you are going to get from the uh, overall manual method this was followed next we will see about the how the planning will be done in the software what uh, i will just show the software this is about the project management can you see here uh, in this what happens this part this is nothing but activity area 
and this is nothing but Gantt chart. Gantt chart or bar area you can see here. Now, whatever the planning we are done, this is going to display here. Now, here what happens in this, whatever the work involved in the project, we are going to make the addition of the works here. Uh, when you go for the WBS, so you can see the work breakdown structure. The how the project is divided into different stages of your projects and uh, activities are nothing but whatever the work involved in the particular stage and what is the time duration you required and you can see here some progress is made here just you can check it out here progress what is the progress of your project just you can check it out this left side this part is actual work is completed and this part are the remaining work to be completed so this is how we are going to make a project planning in the prime Media software. Apart from this, we have the another project management tool that is Microsoft project. Uh, I will show that project uh, tool also. So this is what you are going to have the Microsoft project. So MSP you can call. So this is also we can plan the project. Now you can see here also you can see here. Uh, we have done some project here regarding the oil and gas project. So how we are going to have the activities and different stages of your project, how we are going to have the different links and you can see here how the link is, you can see here how the link is will be the each and every task, uh, how many duration it requires. So what is the total project duration and when project started and when it is going to complete. So start date and uh, end date of your project. And this is a pre Predecessors are nothing but relationship. What type of link we had provided for the each and every task? So these are the things you are going to learn in the Microsoft project. And Microsoft project and Prime Vera both are used for the project management planning software. So here, Prime Vera is advanced version. This is a lower version of the planning tool. So this is all about the what you are going to see the both the software in. I'll come to the once again to the primary software here. Suppose if I want to check the profile of my project, whatever the resource which I assigned, just you can check it out here, the resources which are assigned to my project. Now you can see here. So this is a graphical representation how the resources are assigned here. If I go individual resources, uh, individual activity wise, if I had assigned any resources to my project, that it is going to display like this. If you are going for the individual activities, the how the indicate indication of the bars here. This is nothing but curve. Curve means it is nothing but overall quantity or cost required for the entire project. So these are the things you are going to learn in this software. So this is all about the software. And once again, we'll go to the uh, word file. Now in word file, what happens? What is the main rule of the planning planning engineer? So planning engineer, three things we are going to have. That is what, why, and how. So what means, what is the, what is use of, or what is the main role of the planning engineer? So our planning monitor role. So you can say what means, what is the scope of your project? Then what is the cost? What is the cost required for the project? Time, time is important here because when it, when it is going to start and when it is going to complete, that we have to check. And resources is also very important that uh, what we are going to use the resources in the project tracking. We have to track the project as per the project, uh, uh, how it is moving that we are going to track it out. And we are going to check the project status. And if any issues are there, we'll note on the issues and we'll rectify them and forecast and recovery plan. The future plan will be there. And uh, if you, re if you re require the uh, revise the plan also we can do the uh, revise the plans we have some target also the targets also make the recovery of the plan next why so what is the why means we require the good communication here uh, first of all we require the good management so that the project will be completed within the time durations and we should have the some targets and meeting targets will be there and we should have some goals in organizations so these are the things why we required in the project management as a planning tool because if you are not following any uh, any software if you are going for the excel or some other software then there will be not a good management we cannot provide a good management so we required or we depend upon the softwares 
now how it works so we require teamwork so single person cannot plan we require certain team here so everyone should participate in the team and work for each other then next is your community of communication communication is very important so that we are to communicate with client or we are to go for the field sections inspections everything and we should have always communicate when you are uh, when your rule is a planning uh, planning engineer next coordination also is very important you have to coordinate with each and every uh, working in the projects or you can say senior engineer or junior engineer or field engineer that you have to make the good coordination with them skills skills in the sense what type of skills you had developed that is what type of software you are going to have that we can check it out so whether you have to know about the project man management skills or not whether you know about the primary or microsoft project that you have to check now you have to should be a competent team so these are the things what you are going to have the with the main planning monitor role so this is all about the, some part of introduction as an introduction about the project man project management so